how to make bubbles with dish soap. Bubbles. No childhood summer should be without them. Bubbles keep kids occupied, entertained, and happily playing. Bubbles are the best props when you want to take photos of kids having fun, playing, and smiling naturally. The basics of how to make bubbles with dish soap are not hard at all. Bubbles are not just for children anymore. They are now also used to add a touch of fun and playfulness to events like showers, weddings, and other special occasions. No event planner should have to rely solely on commercially prepared ones when bubbles are so easy to make, so much cheaper, and the ingredients readily available. The advantage of making your own bubbles is that you can experiment with the formula to find out what works best for you. Use it again and again and get the same results every time. There is nothing more disappointing than watching a child blow and blow and get only a few measly bubbles that last a few seconds before bursting. Here's how to make bubbles with dish soap. 1. Find a container with a lid that's big enough for the amount of bubbles you want to make. A plastic container with lid would be best. If you need more bubbles than your container can hold, you may have to make several batches. Do bear in mind that with bubbles, a little goes a long way. 2. Basic ingredients for bubbles are water, dishwashing liquid soap, and glycerin. Use soft water for your bubbles. If you're unsure whether your water is hard or soft, better use a bottle of distilled water. Glycerin can be bought at any drugstore and is inexpensive. You may play around with the proportion to discover the best combination, as the composition of the dishwashing soap and the chemicals in the water may affect the end result somewhat. Add a few drops of food color to make colorful bubbles, but be sure it is the non-staining kind, because the bubbles and the solution will inevitably end up on clothes and skin. 3. You could start with a basic recipe of 3 parts water for every part liquid soap, and 1 tablespoon of glycerin. If glycerin is hard to come by, corn syrup may be used as a substitute. In a pinch, you could even use sugar, but dissolve it in the water first before adding the dishwashing soap. Glycerin acts as a sort of binder to make bigger bubbles that last longer. Stir gently, do not allow it to foam, and let the mixture stand overnight. The more you allow the mixture to set, the bigger and stronger the bubbles. However, if you intend to use the bubbles right away, Skip the glycerin or sugar altogether. Dishwashing soap and water will do just fine. It won't give you bubbles as big or as strong, but there will be enough bubbles for hours of fun. 4. Experiment with various materials to use for wands. Drinking straws, pipe cleaners, craft wires twisted into funky shapes. Make sure there are no sharp points that could pose a danger. And old bubble wands are all useful. For bigger bubbles, you could use cookie cutters or some other big round frame. You could prepare containers with lids to store the bubbles in and bring it to a barbecue, the beach, or a picnic. Bust out the bubble bottles and you will have an instant festive atmosphere going. Use this tutorial on how to make bubbles with dish soap to create an inexpensive but very fun activity for kids.